Hi, I'm Larry Kane. I've spent over 47 years anchoring and covering the news here in the Philadelphia region. But before that, I was the only American reporter to travel to every stop of the 1964-65 Beatle tours of North America. I was with them in their hotel rooms, in their planes, in their cars, and I had a front row seat to some extraordinary history. Hello, this is Larry Kane, traveling with the Beatles on the Beatles chartered airliner on this exciting 25-city coast-to-coast tour. Eventually, I wrote two books, Ticket to Ride and Lennon Revealed, and now I've written a third. It's called When They Were Boys, the true story of the Beatles' rise to the top. Frankly, I was fascinated with what happened before I met them. Where did they come from? How did they do it? What were the trials and tribulations and the potholes along the way? And I wanted to know, how did they get to where they got when the world got crazy for them? Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! That's it's a story that both shocked and enlightened me. It will make you cry and laugh and feel the emotions of the day when you realize how close they came to never crashing through that barrier to become the greatest band in the history of music. More about the new book in a moment, but first, some memories. Paul McCartney, how are you? Well, Larry Kane, good to see you. I have with me George Harrison. How are you doing, George? I'm very well, Larry, and how are you? Fine, you're glad to be back. I was really very fortunate. Our relationship was based on trust and a mutual understanding and a lot of respect. And they often used me as a straight man for their uh, unique sense of uh, Liverpudlian humor. People seem to be uh, like unhappy about something. So that anything we can do to help Trying to make people happy. <laughs> trying to help people. I'm very slow. You get the picture, Larry. Come on, own up. Own up, Larry. <laughs> Are you happy? It used to be nice, Larry. Are used you to happy? be very charming. Yeah, I'm not. And I will never forget the day when I caught John and Yoko live in the Amsterdam Hotel, where on their honeymoon they were holding a bed in for peace. Hello, John. Hi, Larry. How are you? Uh, how you doing? Okay. Frank, this is somewhat of an anti-war protest. Yeah, sure. It's a protest against violence, you know. In 1975, much to the shock of hundreds of thousands of viewers, John appeared on my television program in Philadelphia. What did he do? The weather, sort of. This is meant to be green, and this is the northwest wind, but if you do that, hold off. For Action News, I'm Larry King. Thanks for being with us. So the memories are vivid, and so are my observations about when they were boys. It's a book that tells the real truth about how they rose to fame and the people who helped them, the ones who are unsung and still around to tell their story. These people are vivid characters in the inside story of what really happened. They were there, and today they paint the portrait, the unforgettable picture of what really happened. Along with the Beatles themselves, these game changers bring you so close to the drama that is when they were boys. I'm Larry Kane. I hope you enjoy this book, and I really look forward to your thoughts.